okay just a second okay guys i am back with another video and today it's all about the drugstore we're talking affordable or at least it should be affordable here lately drugstore prices are going up and up and up and up and what is a girl to do I, <laughs> I don't know uh, maybe there's some things we can do out there but anyway this is all drugstore and we'll just kind of use what I got so I started off with um, my glasses on so I did wash my face already and I used the inky list hyaluronic acid cleanser and this is it and I think this would really be good for all skin types. Uh, it doesn't specifically say for all skin types, but it does say that you can use it in the AM and the PM. And we all love the hyaluronic acid. So next I'm going to go ahead and give this NYX Plump right back. Uh, trying to read without my glasses. The NYX Plump right back with electrolytes. And this is a plumping serum but I think it's supposed to also be a primer I've tried it before in the past um, and it didn't quite perform as well as I thought it would but let's go ahead and give it another try shall we so I'm going to go ahead and rub this in okay and it does feel really good on the skin okay it doesn't feel weird or anything i don't i don't get any type of irritation or whatever so now i do have to say it does kind of give a little sticky feel but like i said i think this is supposed to be like a primer uh a serum mixed in with a primer if i'm wrong i'll definitely let you all know all right so got that on now i kind of feel like my hands are sticky i'm gonna go ahead and wipe them off okay for the foundation i'm going to use the age perfect radiant serum foundation this does have a broad spectrum spf of 50. it's got antioxidants and plus a concentrated serum and the shade that i have is cappuccino 125. this is it right here i'm gonna go ahead and put this on It does look a little red, but that's okay. We're gonna keep it moving. Okay, I'm gonna start off using my hands. Um, that's something I've just kind of been doing lately. I don't know why I feel like I waste less product like that. Now we'll go back in with the sponge and kind of spread it out a little bit more, but I'm going to start off with using my hands. And for this to be a drugstore uh, product, it feels really good on my skin. It feels comparable to some of the other high-end foundations that are out there. And now for a good measure, I'm just going to go in with a sponge and just go around the edges. All right, I think that's good. Next up for the concealer, I'm going to use a multitasking concealer by Rimmel. And I think this is supposed to be full coverage, I think. Now... You all know that I can go ham on the mess, the uh, under eye highlighting. Some ladies like that, none, not so much. Um, it just kind of depends on your preference. When I'm in a rush and I want to get a quick look in, I probably won't do all this. Uh, but if I'm going out somewhere, I, I definitely will. So I'm going to put this under my eye and I'm really just trying to conceal the darkness that's under my eye, like right in the corner. I know you all 
saw it before I put on my makeup uh, and I'm going to bring it up on my upper lid as well now I think this is a really good concealer the only thing that I wish is that they you know they could I feel as though they could have put something in this particular concealer like some type of skin loving ingredient but they didn't and to me that's that's disappointing but I do think that it's cruelty free or it doesn't have parabens I need to check and I'll let you all either know on the screen or in the comments but you can easily see when you go in the store to purchase your products just turn you know turn it over and read the ingredients and if it does have parabens or sulfates or any of those egregious offenders that we don't want in our makeup pick something else because there's so much makeup out there you know that we can buy okay so as you can see this is really full coverage okay and i'm gonna go ahead and set it and i'm gonna use the revlon candid photo ready concealer this claims to have anti-aging ingredients but they don't list what they are which is really weird to me um so who knows <laughs> but that's what i'm gonna use let me get these creases out and if you have a highlighter and you know you buy one and you get it home and you find out you notice that it's too light or you know you, not a highlighter but you have your concealer you notice that or you feel as though it's lighter than what you wanted go ahead and use it and then use your your powder to set it and that will tone down how light the actual concealer is and out of all of the powders that i've tried at our drugstore i like using that particular powder because um, i tend to have allergies i don't know if you've ever seen and you know some of my some people may dispute me on this but if you're ever wearing makeup or and you're fine before you apply the makeup and then once you apply it your eyes start to water your nose starts to you have to sneeze and that means you're allergic to whatever's in the ingredient and this right here this particular drugstore powder i have never uh ran into any problems when i first started youtube way back probably two years in or whatever i became hip to what was going on and anytime i would do a makeup video i would literally take benadryl just to control <laughs> you know my allergies because i knew it was something in the makeup that was making me and and that's just the way it is i mean if you're fine before you put on your makeup and then all of a sudden you had you, you eyes are water and you can't it just uh, that's because you're allergic uh to the makeup so anyway let me go ahead and just kind of make sure all this is blended in very well all right so for bronzing and contouring i'm going to use this cream contour palette and this is by makeup revolution and i'm gonna apply it with a brush a stippling brush i like using stippling brushes to apply um cream products so and this is it a stippling brush is just a brush that it has dual fibers and i just feel like the application goes on really good with that and anytime you're using your cream products after you get it on your brush take it and get a little bit off on your hand like that and then apply it and for me all of these products are it has like a radiant finish but it's not so radiant or dewy or damp to where i'm feeling like i'm gonna have to set it 
Now, if you have oily skin and that's just something you need to do is set your skin, I mean, set your makeup, then definitely. But if you have mature skin like mine and you're not oily and you're, you have normal skin, you can get away with a setting spray, like a mattifying setting spray or just only setting your problem areas. All right, and I'm gonna go back in with a sponge and just kind of lightly go over this. All right, so got that done. Next, I'm going to go in with my brows and I'm just gonna use a L brow pencil. You know, the kind that looks like this. It's got the pencil on one side and the spoolie on the other. And I think these are probably the cheapest in the drugstore, probably next to Rimmel. Rimmel might have them a little bit cheaper but I'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit. Just the sparse spots. And then kind of draw me a tail over here. <laughs> okay, got that done. Okay, it's really simple. Yeah, not too complex, just simple. We're keeping it simple. We're keeping it simple with Bridget. Hi, just playing. All right, next up I have a blush and this is by Physicians Formula. I love Physicians Formula stuff. I love their stuff so bad. And comes with a little brush and I'm going to apply this. Now sometimes I can overdo the blush and sometimes, or a lot of times I don't like to do it for fear of just, just the messing stuff up. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it, we're going to play it safe. Okay, we're not going to go too ham. So just brush it up this way. And I think that looks good. I mean, you can see it. It's just, and it has like a little highlighter effect to it. And I think this is how they do a lot of their blushes. They kind of add a little something, something to it. But that's really pretty. So now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with, um, let's see, put this back. A highlighter and I'm gonna use a Milani highlighter it's like this and I'm put a little on my nose yeah that's good I think I probably overdid it but I'm saying I think I overdid it, but I keep putting it on. And next up, I have a Ulta little lippy. Does it say Ulta? Yeah, but look, I think she, they tried to be like Rihanna with this little lippy. And I think this is like a soft matte. All right, and for gloss, I have a Ulta lip gloss, and I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and apply it with my finger. The only reason I'm doing it like that is because I don't want the, the lip color to get in the lip gloss and mess it all up. I'm going to put on a little mascara. And last up for the setting spray, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Shimmer Spray. This is it, okay.
And the thing about this particular shimmer spray is if you go out in the sun, you can actually see it. It's not a lot. It's just a little, very minuscule sparkles and it looks so pretty. So anyway, that's it. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products and if you have, let me know what you thought about them. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.